MapleSim offers a wide range of interactive tools for quickly assembling complex models, including integrated 3D and 2D construction of multi-body models. Here we will build a model of a Stuart platform. We start with the main platform already defined and the three anchor points. Now we will interactively build one of the legs. We will select a universal joint, a rigid frame, a prismatic joint, and a spherical joint. Now, let's connect these components. MapleSim provides a convenient 3D connecting tool. Once done, I have a complete leg that can be connected to the platform. First, one end to an anchor point, then the other end to the platform. Now MapleSim will assemble the pieces and sort out all of the necessary connections. Once completed, we can immediately see that MapleSim has correctly assembled the pieces. As we build our model in the interactive 3D mode, MapleSim automatically configures the 2D component level view of the system. The 3D and the 2D models are integrated and you can take full advantage of the respective strengths of each view. The 2D view is great for dealing with complexity. For example, we can opt to replicate the leg we just built through copy and paste in the 2D view. At the press of a button, MapleSim will sort out the geometry and update the 3D view to include two new legs. Now let's finish the model by copying the leg three more times for a total of six legs in the hexapod configuration, and then assemble the final configuration. The basic structure of the model is now complete. Using this basic technique of combined 2D and 3D model editing, you can readily increase complexity and fidelity of your models. Here we have a higher fidelity version of our Stuart platform. In this version, each leg has been defined as a separate subcomponent. Furthermore, we have connected a hydraulic actuator to each leg. MapleSim readily supports the mixing of mechanical and hydraulic components. As well as the hydraulics, this model also includes a control strategy based on inverse kinematic calculations as we see by the controller scheme definition. Finally, this model also includes additional information imported from a CAD package to add shape and color to the model.